Good morning everyone! Welcome back to another morning coffee with Admiral. Today we have a very special day. Believe it or not, it is one of the probably three days when there is a snow in the UK. Yeah, chat. I, I woke up, looked out of the window, and I saw snow. That legendary white thing about one inch thick and now I'm slowly checking the news to find out whether United Kingdom will announce a natural disaster, a state of national emergency because believe it or not it's the UK. Everything is possible. Give or take a few hours and you will start seeing a breaking news all around the world that the United Kingdom has announced a state of national emergency. Because we have that legendary 
one inch of snow okay it's gonna last for three days so you know chat because of that i did something for you okay if you go to channel points you will find a brand new redeemable it's called a snowball it costs only 10 channel points okay it's in promo now because we want to celebrate this state of national emergency we got snow believe it or not we got snow in the uk right enough of breaking news time to do some job isn't it no it isn't chat you forgot to tell me you forgot to remind me the first order of business for each and every day apart from introduction that i always do don't worry i, I won't forget about that part but the first order of business before we move any any of the choo choos is the stream raiders chat we got nine hours and 45 minutes to go as far as we can because then a glitched campaign is over okay so let's do our best because there won't be any more chances okay i shall place my glitched musketeer and he will lead you to victory and now i need you chat i need you to build an amazing army i know it's early in the morning and many of you haven't properly woken up but i have a faith in you okay and i believe that you can build a massive and beautiful army right with that said it is now time to return to our normal operations Stop changing switches. Yeah, but stop changing switches. If there is a train in front of it. Okay. Uh, right, Tankist. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, I just need to decouple. Uh, and then I need to... Oh, yeah. I, I need to refill coal and, and water. Uh, yeah, uh, the stuff that you need to sort out is decoupled and... It'll be fine. Uh, just if you can't store them, just leave them for now, and I'll, I'll sort it out later. It's just two cars. chat first things first we need to put some water in it uh, i don't really want any more coal uh, 
because coaling will be sorted at Bryson, where this locomotive belongs to. And today we got very light work in, in Bryson, so that's, that's good. We don't really need to worry about that part. Uh, Tankist will have a little bit more work, but he'll be he'll be alright. It is within his division. So he will have to deal with it uh, for now. Uh, but looking at, at the workload, I, I might come back with number 10 and help him. Okay, okay. It missed it a little bit, but it's only because we can't adjust the water column to perfectly aim at, uh, at the hole. Because normally the water column would swing a little bit more and we would be able to basically pour water directly into the tank. Okay, by the way, uh, there is one more train that I need to look at. And this is passenger train that is currently standing at Ila. Yeah. Okay. Let me just quickly check how are the switches set. Uh, so we can... Perfect. So the passenger train will now drive into Bryson. Number one is looking at another train. Oh, okay. And it's because number 10 is now ready. Right tank is good luck with it. I'm sure you'll be fine. There's only a few cars to move around. Now I remember what I wanted to do. I forgot that these two cars are for Silva Interchange. And these are for Industries, so I can actually couple to them. Get these cars fully onto this siding. Decouple those. And then move uh, these cars to paperboard. Because reasons. Uh, so, yards, about, I need to pull everything by about two cars. Uh, let me just get flat hands connected. 
And let's release. Okay. Let's do two cast. for number two to get to Bryson so I can throw switches. Two cars spotted. Wonderful. Now we can go in reverse and I need to go to the paper board. Now Spotted in here, so I can have access to those cars. I can isolate this siding, and from here, I will spot all the cars where they need to be. Okay, handbrakes are applied. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's really good. Mr. L did a great job in here. I appreciate when someone actually uses handbrakes and then don't leave the cars spotted without uh, without them. It really helps. Okay, number 2 is about to get to Bryson. Switches, those switches, and as always, a freight train has to go onto this siding, which is already isolated. Perfect. We have some shunting here to do. We got this car to, to remove. Uh, these cars are still unloading. Uh, this one is empty. Uh, this one will be empty in some time. Uh, the calling tower car is still not empty. Uh, how's, how's those? Uh, we still got 4,000 gallons of oil. So that's plenty. All these can go to interchange, okay. That's good. And that that's probably the reason why we have so many cars for uh, Appalachian hardwoods. 
I don't know what these two sidings are for, but I, I might find some use for them at some point. Obviously, we got this Y. I, I don't know why, but we have a Y. <laughs> Okay, perfect. And that's the passenger train. We may now throw the switch. Perfect. Okay. Everything seems to work. Oh no, uh, that that doesn't seem to work. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. ARC three. No, 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 no. You're going the wrong way. I I, I forgot to throw one of the switches. Lost the pen. Let's borrow. Let's borrow. Silver paper board. Okay. Now we are going to drive into appropriate siding. Plastic, yes. Oh, come on. You shaved my tash again. Uh, you, you're very mean to me today. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable, chat. He's so mean. No, I, I, I feel very naked without that. And by the way, chat, uh, we will uh, have a long... Uh, ad uh, uh, segment in about a minute so uh, I will take that opportunity to take a very quick break uh, so I'll be back with you uh, somewhat after the ad break until then well just enjoy I, I think a longer segment of ads uh, so that then we won't have any ads for about an hour or so just, yeah that that's the uh, so yeah, uh, I'll I'll catch you uh, soon.
All right, welcome back, everyone. Hopefully, for another hour, we won't see any ads on on the channel uh, because that's how this works. Uh, I'm still experimenting with that, so I'm not sure if uh, if it's better to have several small segments and uh, that will interrupt what we are doing, or is it better to just have one long segment every hour uh, because that's that's the maximum frequency i can set for uh for the ads uh, but yeah i i think having that three minute segment just so that everyone can grab a brew and and like uh get get their own stuff sorted for for like a, for that short three minutes period i i, I think that that's all right uh, right, let's have a look what uh, what Tankist is doing. Uh, he has those two cars for P1, okay. I forgot to tell him that he can always change them to... Uh, uh, to fit on, on P3, P4 and, and P2 if, if they actually fit in there. Uh, but, well... Since he already spotted them on P1, they, they are fine there. Uh, maybe it's even better, uh, because then everything will load that much quicker. That's... Really? Oh, I didn't realize they, they will automatically change it. Uh, I, I know that... Uh, I, I know that you can manually change it and, and you can just set it to, to different place and I think all the drivers or all crew members can actually do that. And even if... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that that's a weird stuff, but hey. Are you sure no one just trolled you on, on your multiplayer game? And Uh, changed it for you. Right, anyway, uh, this thing is not ready. Let me just apply the on break. Uh, perhaps two. Just two. Uh, besides the devs, maybe. Okay. <laughs> oh, those bad devs. Uh, right. I see. I see. I see. I see what. I see what they do here. Uh, Colin Lumber. Uh, paperboard is one. Where's the uh, PW one? Where's Where's PW one? Ah, I see. I, I think. Oh, PW one is there. R1B, uh, Hillsboro Freight House, where is that? Oh, okay, that, that's probably at Hillsboro. Okay, uh, so what I can do is to throw that switch. And now we need to move around a little bit, chat. There's gonna be some work. doing we got this thing so
Okay. So. these wagons because most of them are going to Appalachian hardwoods uh, one of them is going to standard oil and then we can just collect all the silver interchange cars that's pretty much it uh, Bryson is very easy to sort out today we don't really have that much work Okay, now go switches. Perfect. Okay, in the meantime, I got this one, uh, and that one's done in manual mode. already number three should be ready yes number three is also pretty much ready ready there we go Perfect. Uh, right, this which is the drone. Okay, and the battle is ready. Chat. It is time for the first battle of today's stream. Let's hop right into it. Ooh, chat, chat. Early in the morning, and we are getting this amazing crowd. I, I see you guys are really putting a lot of effort into that. I, I, I like it. I like it. Right. Let's boost our defenses. Because even with those legendary beasts. It might actually be. Rather difficult task. And I can actually catch pretty much the entire army with that. Maybe, maybe except two units that were. Standing a little bit too far. So let's begin. The first battle of today's stream. We have a lot of opponents here. Uh, but I'm quite sure with this beautiful and amazing army we can defeat anything.
Oh wow, those legendary beasts are really doing a lot of work. Oh no, one of them has fallen. There we go. That, that was wonderful. Absolutely amazing and outstanding performance. Good job, everyone. We have defeated the first map of the day. Let's carry on with the momentum. Heading to Maze. Okay, let me just, hmm, what units should I use? I shall use my Necromancer, as always he will be locked in that tiny cell or whatever, uh, yeah, I am gonna place him there, and I think that is a really really good position for him. The rest is on you, chat. The rest is on you. I can see first units popping up right now. Fantastic. Outstanding performance, everyone. Now, let's get back to Ray Rhoda. Okay, so yard forward five, and that will connect. Perfect. And we need to do the same on this end. Go with reverse order. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. My tank is still dealing with Connolly Creek. Oh no, he, he actually finished spotting those pulpwood cars. That's very good because they are very important uh, for, for our operations. We are actually making a lot of money from, from the pulpwood. Far more than from other cars. Okay. This is now connected. Right. So, uh, that's, that goes to Silver Lumber and Co. Uh, that's Silver Paperboard. S1, PW1, PW1. R1B. R1B is this truck. Okay, so um, that's gonna be our first goal. Road forwards. I, I think we should fit on this stretch without doing anything else. it should be ready yes it is last hands connected on brakes released now ARC2 is also ready In. wonderful switch and put a few Z there just so that this locomotive won't run away then I need to line up this switch and this switch Then two. 
And we will sort out the Appalachian hardwoods first. Road forward 15. Perfect. And let's double check whether all that is lined as it should. Yeah, it is. Uh, what is the first car we got? Uh, I need to be very careful with that. G3A and G3B. Uh, G3A and G3B is this long track. That's them. So I need to pull them out. And then I need to put other cars in correct order. Okay, this one is also ready, so I can throw that switch. This can go in reverse. Now I need to pull out both of these cars, put them onto this siding, put the one that I want to spot, and then push them to in front. should now be almost ready perfect so we'll, we'll be able to send a, a, a passenger train soon Beautiful. Number 10 is still slowly moving towards Appalachian hardwoods. Uh, that's that's a long route. Okay, Tankis is doing a good job around with here. Gonna take him a while to, to get all those cars spotted. That's for sure. But on the other hand, Whittier is currently the busiest region uh, that that we have. Um, it's around Bryson. You don't really get that much work. At least so far. That will change. That, that will change. But for now, Bryson doesn't really have that much work. Which is good. Okay. Go forward 15.
now road reverse 15. Yeah, both of these cars should be ready really soon, so I can put 20, 320 at the very back. Because them too, by the end of the day, they should be ready to be picked up anyway. Number 10 is looking at another train. Uh, let me just double check one thing. A is at the front, B is at the back, so I will have to swap those two cars uh, in places. Not a problem at all. Yard forward 5. Uh, we will just set off all three wagons on this siding. I can actually connect everything with this car, because I, I need to extract it anyway. So, nice and easy operation, as long as you know what to do, this is quite easy to, to deal with. There we go, the map is getting okay. At least the handbrake, perfect. Road reverse 15. Oh, there we go. It actually gave me some money for it. Oh yeah, because uh, Appalachian Hardwoods A was within the zone. So I already got paid for this car, even though I won't spot it just yet. Okay. Let's just jump into this area. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I, I am getting lost. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is couple this one. Apply the handbrake. Go in the opposite direction. Okay, MRC 10 has TZ in the gate, meaning that we can go in the opposite direction and throw the switch. In fact, we can do yard 20 instead, so it will just connect with that car, which is something that we want to do anyway. Now this one or the reverse. Just go all the way to the buffer. That's where we need to be. And now number two. Number two is ready to be pushed together. Okay. And the passengers are also loaded. Look at this. Full train and there's still 10 passengers for Silver Depot. Absolutely wow. Okay, passenger train can go at maximum speed. No need to slow down. 
we are making too much money out of passengers to completely ignore that okay that silver paper board and this one this one is now pushed together Connected. On brakes can be released. Now, what I want to do is to do a reverse out. So I want to move it away from that buffer. That will do. Road reverse 15. We need, to, uh, we need to spot this car first. Then we need to get back for this one. Spot it right behind G3B. And then we can deal with uh, this one. There's gonna be a little bit back and forth on, on on that maneuver because there's no other way to do it. Uh, right, number three. Uh, I, I'm sure you are somewhere there. Yes. This one can be now. done and I can pick up those two cars and spot them on this truck there we go chat I would like to remind you that today there is a special promo on snowballs if you want to throw any at the stream uh, it is only 10 channel points is currently oh he's heading to Wilmot to spot that uh, that one car that, that needs to be spotted there <laughs> there we go number 10 just uh, did a good job here with this uh, with this one okay uh, so coupler can be released okay we are going in reverse there is a lot of jumping for me because I'm trying to manage three trains at the same time. But I'm sure I can do it. There we go. handbrake right so a single handbrake on on that uh, tanker didn't really do much ARC 10 busy in the gate 
Okay, perfect. Which means that we are ready to push things forward. so that the car will be coupled. I'm quite sure it will couple. Is it? Oh, maybe it isn't. No, it, it won't couple. Give it extra two. Yeah, no, now it will couple. Okay. Perfect. now reverse all the way here There is 8 minutes and 15 seconds left until beginning of the next battle. Place your units now. always this is pushed a little bit too far so orders uh, forward now much better right uh, silver paperboard s1 is our next car to be coupled uh, so i will do yard forward two so i just need to move these away Colon number. Oh, I see. I see. So that's that's at Silva Station, is it? Yeah, that is at the station. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so if that's at the station... Uh, how do I want to deal with it? Oh well, I'll, I'll think about it later. Uh, handbrake light. Okay, now we need to push that S1 car. Uh, it's not far away, so uh, draw forward 15. We just literally need to reverse it into this car. And then I can pick uh, SOU. Uh, 21644 although I need to have all three wagons on the opposite side of the locomotive so I will push them all in here and then deal with them in appropriate manner This can be done this way. Now back to number 10. Number 10 goes... Yard forward 5. And then we're going to pull everything by about half a car so that both cars are on the sidings and that should oh no that's gonna be one full car is it yeah that's literally gonna be one full car One. Ha. Perfection. Okay, now road reverse 15. Uh, now we need to pull those three wagons, put them onto this siding temporarily, push this one onto this siding, and then pick up those three. Or in fact, we won't pick up those three just yet. Okay. My brain is melting. Yeah, we will pick them up. Okay, we'll, we'll just get them closer uh, because on our way back we still need to deal with standard oil, which is completely different business. Yeah, forward ten. Yeah, we might be actually just with range. Uh, right, number three. Ready. Orders forward fifteen.
Okay, we are down to one ton of coal. Chat, and the battle is ready to begin. Okay. Hold on, let me just... Yeah, two, okay. That, that will connect. So we may now jump into the battle. Can I actually... Uh... I can catch this entire blob into the spell. And there are a few people who decided to, to go in slightly different direction, but that's fine, that's fine. We need that sometimes, we need some small group of, of units to act as a distraction. So that our main group can have easier time. Right! Let's begin! Clash of two armies. Obviously, monsters doesn't stand a chance. Chat, our beautiful and magnificent army has defeated the enemies. I'm I'm really glad to announce that. And I don't see any any losses. Although I I can see only top ten. So uh, obviously th there were a little bit more players in in that list. Uh, but yeah, in top 10, no one lost any unit, which is fantastic. Two random winners are getting some extra rewards. Congratulations. And now we shall move on to the next battle. Let's not delay that so that we can... There we go. So we can deal with as many battles as possible i will this time use my war beast and let, let's place it there yes that that seems like a good spot for it right chat give me another beautiful army i have faith in you and let's go with this epic quest for epic loot and epic rewards as far as we can the event is about to finish really really soon and let's try and get as far as we can because there won't be another chance to take part in glitch event it's about to be over okay chat and unfortunately i have to finish today's stream at around half past 12 so that means we got approximately two hours which means we got about four battles to to go so let's look let's use that final opportunity to to go as far as we can and get as much as we can out of this event right let's get back the railroad uh, tankist how are you doing there he's been awfully quiet today you've been really quiet today road forward 15 
Ah, I see, I see, I see. So he muted himself. Okay. I think I have handbrakes here. Let's release those. There we go. Right, uh, so now I need to push those cars onto one of these two tracks. Probably, uh, possibly this one. Yeah, let's use this one. Run around them. Uh, spot those two hoppers. Then pick up this hopper from the other direction. Uh, get onto this side of, of this cut and start moving everything towards this bar. Chat, this is called efficiency. Sam Houston, welcome to the stream. I hope you all have a great time today. Good morning, just now setting up. It still looks like my boss said that stay home due to icy streets. Yes, we got first victim of snow in the UK. Woo! <laughs> just as I predicted, it's gonna be a state of national emergency. We got one inch of snow in the UK, so... <laughs> Schools will be closed. Businesses won't open. An, a true natural disaster. Well, welcome to the stream, Sam. Welcome to the stream. Stay warm today. Unfortunately, in my job, <laughs> there's not going to be national emergency. Yeah. Uh, See, I actually happen to work as a delivery driver for groceries. I literally deliver sandwiches and, and all that stuff. Uh, so, I doubt I'm going to get a message. Please don't come today because uh, because we have a state of national emergency. I, I, I doubt this will happen. <laughs> So, what will happen is that I will have to do my today's route in that snow and deliver all the sandwiches to Morrison's and, and all those fancy shops. Because that's effectively my job. So, no national emergencies for me. I mean, see Sam, uh, you can technically do that, yes, you can make a lot uh, delivering things using van. But that is if you already own a van. Ideally, if you've been doing that for a while, so you have discounts with insurance companies, because I can guarantee you that if I would try to insure a van for commercial driving, it would ruin me financially at this moment. Uh, and if you have some contact, uh, because without contact, you won't even make the ends meet these days. Uh, so yes, you, you can actually do that uh, on self-employed, uh, but at this point, it would be very difficult to get into if you don't have a lot of money to just invest. So that's the biggest issue. Uh, I've been actually looking into that. Because I, I want to like drive for a living, uh, and I don't want to make minimum wage. Uh, so ideally, it would be best to work as self-employed and do deliveries uh, on my own. Uh, but legal requirements put so much burden that I, I just don't have enough money to invest. Uh, because first of all, I would need to have my own van. Renting a van is out of the question. Because it's just too expensive. It, it would eat up any income that I would have. Uh, I think it costs like £350 to, to just rent a bank. Per week. 
which means that you have to make money. So if, if you will run dry and uh, your contacts won't be good enough for a week or two to, to get you going, then you don't have any, any way to escape the problem. Because you still have to pay for the bad rental. And you have to sign a contract for like three years straight. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to, to get this kind of rates. And you will be paying like nearly twice as much. Which is uh, ridiculous. So ideally, you want to buy some old, old van to, to do it. But even buying the old van... Uh, for food delivery, you want large van with a fridge. Um, you're probably looking at around 10 grand to, to buy a used van. And that's providing that everything works in it. And it's lo uh, road legal. So you got first 10 grand to invest into that. Then insurance company will charge you anywhere between three and a half and six thousand per year to ensure that for commercial driving uh, so you already need nearly 20 grand in your pocket to, to get started and then obviously there's fuel uh, getting contracts and, and stuff like that yeah you probably won't see any any revenue for for a while unless you have a someone who is looking for contracts and, and gets delivered I mean, in the past it was easier because you didn't have to have a specific commercial insurance. You could just have your normal, uh, like a social and domestic insurance and, and it was perfectly fine. You are still driving the same car, you are still the same driver, but right now they decided to split it just to suck money out of everyone and make it nearly impossible to start a new business. Uh, so yeah, if, if you want to get into transport and, and deliveries, even using a van, which which is probably the cheapest vehicle that, that you can get to, to successfully make any deliveries, you probably need about 15k in your pocket. Just to get started. And, and that doesn't guarantee success. It, it might be just money that, that you waste. So yeah, probably the cheapest business you can run right now as a self-employed is literally live streaming because all you need is a PC, an idea and a bit of a personality to, to basically make a show and, uh, and stuff like that and, and, and you know, eventually if your channel is successful, you will make some revenue out of it. Uh, if it's not, then it's going to turn up into, well, not too expensive hobby. Just really, all you need to do is to have a PC that is good enough to run OBS and whatever you are doing with that OBS. Uh, so it's it's not super expensive. Right, uh, we need yard re uh, no, uh, road reverse. I just need those two. And they need to be spotted right here. Okay. Oh, I see Tankis gave me a cool shade. He, he really likes this kind of looks. <laughs> oh, the railroad is being kind to you. Uh, I mean, today, today it's... It's a quiet day on, on my tiny railroad. Yes. 
speaking of railroads, I'm gonna, I, I got number two that I need to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, it's full of passengers, so we can't really do much here. Let's head on to it here. Here and number three, number three, where is number three? Number three has switched lines against. Oh no. I need to throw that switch. There we go. I didn't notice the notification that informs me that there's gonna be an ad break. And the first one that popped up is that the, the ad break is already in progress. I, I think Twitch has this one bugged if you set it in the way that I set it up. Because I, I didn't get notification from, uh, from Twitch saying there's gonna be an ad break in a minute. And they should send me that every single time. Oh well, thankfully we, we got very low ad frequency here. There we go. Okay, do that. Welcome back everyone, my apologies for that, uh, Twitch was supposed to send me notification when there is one minute uh, before the ads and obviously it only sent me notification when the ads were already in progress and I was like oh yeah fantastic, <laughs> thanks Twitch. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we had slightly unannounced ad break. But everyone's back and I'm just continuing to do uh, our shunting operations. Uh, so road reverse, we need to pull out those three wagons, put them here. Uh, get this one onto the siding where it belongs. And then pick up those three wagons and get them at one of the sidings where I assemble heavy freight train for the evening. In the meantime, uh, let's have a quick look at Tankist, what he's doing now. 
Okay, he, he is really doing a great job. Uh, all he has left is Stenzel with your house truck, Holyfield heating oil and Ila farm supply. Uh, he's down to last few cars, so like he has an amazing performance when it comes to shunting. Look at this. All these are spotted. Logs are spotted. There's no problems here. Uh, that is pretty much done. Uh, he has one car to pick up and, and leave at, uh, at Whittier East or yeah, I, I think it's East Whittier. Uh, I believe there is one car to pick up from Ila. Let's fly there because yeah, I, I always keep forgetting that I got that teleport function. Uh, yeah, so he can also pick up this car from Ila while he's spotting another one around this area. Perfect. Perfect. Outstanding performance. Okay. Forward. I can just leave those cars in front. Good. Uh, let's get back to number three. It's currently standing here. Perfect. And that's yard four five. Good. Release the handbrake. Go forward 15. Okay. Distinguish that PZ. Now we are heading to this PZ. Perfect. How's the coal situation? 900 kilograms. That should be more than enough. Okay, number 10 is ready to drop these cars. Not the reverse. Okay, Tankus is currently driving in. That easy. Switch lined against me. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Very good. Well, I, I, I'm curious to see how the game will look like when it's fully released. Uh, that, that's the first thing. Uh, but yes, uh, 
a future DLCs that would include other areas uh, where you can also develop or a route extension that that would be brilliant that would definitely be brilliant uh, but for now yeah we need to wait for the game to be actually finished because it was just released in early access like what in in december okay now number 10 can go in the opposite direction number two is flying through with you and number three Is about to pick up another cut of cars. Uh, let's just prepare all the switches. Perfect. Not really that. that wonderful looks like we got very very efficient railroad here Okay, uh, still got enough coal, plenty of water. There's only last few shunting maneuvers. Okay, now I need to stop around here. Okay, may maybe let's stop around here. Uh, oh no, we, we, we can actually go through the cross. So what I need to do now is so I can oh in fact I can just throw the switch against I will stop at the switch decouple those cars for interchange Pull forward. Uh, probably somewhere around here. Uh, push the new car onto this truck. Pick up this car. Push it towards the car that I, that I just placed in there. Pull everything forward and push them back where they belong. And then pick up those cars for interchange. Okay. Plan is simple. Time for the execution. Okay. And in the meantime, uh, this one is looking at another train. 
which is exactly what I wanted. There's five. Go. Go to verse 15. Perfect. Our next goal is there. I need to push this uh, hopper at, at the other end of the train on this siding. In the meantime, number two is approaching Wilmot. doesn't look like we are going to exchange any passengers at Wilmot. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Because my train is fully packed. We got passengers for Dillsborough Depot and Silver Depot and that's it. So this train is going all the way to the depot. Uh, right, so if I remember correctly, it is somewhere in uh, North Carolina in the US. Uh, providing that we have business called Appalachian Hardwoods, I, I, I would probably think it's somewhere in Appalachia. But where exactly, I can't remember. It's it's some weird space. I, I've never been to US myself, so, you know, th there's not much I can make and tell you about it. But if it looks as, as it should look like, then that's impressive. That's really impressive. Right at what we call the Appalachian Trail. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So that's the one. Okay, uh, I, I think we stopped a little bit too soon to get extra few meters. Southern Railway Smurfy Branch. Uh, that that's probably accurate. Uh, see, that's the thing. I can't tell you much about American Railroad because uh, I live in Europe. Uh, I'm not really that much into American Railways. Uh, it it has its own beauty. 
and the American railways are mostly about freight transport because that's where the money is and America is all about money and, but yeah I I can't really tell you much about it because I I'm not local to, to that kind of uh, stuff uh, I'm more familiar with Polish railways where I basically grew up and well I, I grew up in Poland so obviously I, I had plenty of opportunities to travel in, in those trains and, and that's that's the railways I, I fell in love with uh, in, in, in that sense. And that's why a lot of my channel is oriented around these areas. Uh, I like German railways uh, because they are very very similar in, in some parts to the Polish railways. Although they, they use two different systems in Germany. They have uh, like an old Eastern Germany system which is pretty much the same as, as the one that is currently used in Poland and, and many other uh, former USSR countries. And and you got Western Germany system uh, that is more modern, simplified, and it's used in in different parts of Germany. <laughs> so yeah, they they got two different di signaling systems at the moment. Uh, yes, we indeed. Uh, in Europe, we got plenty of scenic routes and, and stuff. And passenger transport is a thing. Uh, like, a lot of railways is not about freight transport. Because freight is mostly transported by lorries in, in Europe and in the UK. Uh, the huge, like, there's a lot of things move by road rather than rail whereas in US a heavy trains are very common and they have priority over passenger trains uh, while in Europe it's the passenger trains that have priority over freight trains because yeah apparently freight is not bringing that much money in Europe because otherwise, why would you prioritize something that doesn't bring you any money? It it makes no sense. Uh, Tankist, yes, that's correct. OSS uh, HD uh, is pretty much the standard that was used across uh, USSR, is it? Yes, it, back then it, it was still USSR and, and then it obviously it turned into Russia when, when Russia became a republic. Uh, but uh, yes, that, that was this kind of standard that was unified between those countries. Uh, it was obviously upgraded at some point. Uh, so you got Romania that, that still uses OSS uh, HD signals. Uh, Croatia, I think. I can't remember. Uh, Czech, Slovakia, yes, uh, Poland. Although I, I, I'm not sure if, if Czechs are still using uh, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. Yeah, uh, all, all those countries will use OSS HD signals. Switch. Precisely. Chat. Chat. The battle is ready to begin. 
Why why did no one told me? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, it, it's been a while. Oh no! Oh no, Raiders! Raiders, I completely forgot about you guys. Right, let's make haste. Let's make haste. And let's quickly finish this battle. Oh no. There we go. Look at this fantastic army. It's just steaming through the enemy. Ouch. Mongol Arachne is clearly a very strong enemy. Uh, it, it really put a dent into our forces. With those few attacks, it, it managed to actually unleash. But it's still not enough to stop our beautiful army. Look at this chap. This was amazing. Oh, I, I like this doggo. I, I really love this doggo. And it's right. Okay, great job everyone. Great job everyone. Outstanding performance. We still got time to do two more battles at least. Yeah, so we should end up somewhere around here. Unfortunately, we won't have time to get all the way to the boss. I was hoping for that, but we just won't make it. We just won't make it, chat. Right, I will place my epic archer and let's get to it. The time is running out, chat. Time is running out. Right, everyone, we are back with Ray Rhoda. Okay, this can be done this way, this way, and now. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Number three. drive into the station one thing i don't like about this signals is that they will turn red if i will send the train to the siding that should not happen it, it should show signal at caution yards there I don't even recall there being any traps
see why is this truck. It's here, okay. So, road forward 15. Place a few Z at silver. There we go. I I I love how all the whistle sounds get distorted when you teleport or move really quick. <laughs> it's really fun. reverse five i need to pull out those two cars uh, because them two are going to the back so i will need to take them out push them here then push those two and then respot those tankers in the meantime uh, let me just get here go now we need to pick up that tanker and place it in front of this one and then spot both of them back onto this truck okay now back to this borough okay we got them all It would probably help to, to remove a few Z from, from the way of this way.
Beautiful. Oh, come on. Okay, we can now spot these cars. Time number 10. Should be pretty much looking at another train. Yes, it is. Uh, yard forward five. Perfect. Number two is arriving at Silva. I told you it, like it is annoying to move this train forward I, I agree with that but on a longer route it it indeed adds up Spotted. How's my finance? Five grand. Okay, we opened the day with about two, so that's that's extra three grand made. Uh, but in 15 hours and 40 minutes, we have to spend 1500 dollars. So I'm not touching this cash until we sort out the interest. Okay, so uh, these cars can now be left where they are. Perfect. Now we have to respot those two. Then stop for a few Z. And we should have just enough space for two cars to fit behind the locomotive. Perfect. Silva now. The couple and they gone. Or the team.
Oh wow, there's so many passengers. go yeah it's reverse 20 so we can couple straight to, to those ones yeah we should be all right I think we should be alright. Worst case scenario I will have to pull those by about half a wagon, which actually isn't that bad idea. But see if you see in the gate. There we go. Orders, oh, yard. Okay. Looks like ARC3 can do reverse 30 and go all the way to Whittier.
There we go. Double check. It's closed. Why is it closed? This signal tends to close itself. Okay, I'll, I'll deal with it. And if I will do that. Now it's open. this one okay and throw this one is it going to open of course it's not okay any any attempt to send a train onto these tracks will end up closing the signal rubik's the wolf hello welcome to the stream i hope you will have a great time today okay so i just need to pay attention to number three time you can connect the glad hands you just bought another ship model oh my days you are buying a lot of stuff there's still so many passengers that I couldn't pick up oh my days right orders road repairs we are heading to this world. Okay, thank you, she's currently spotting cars at Dila. Perfect. And let's just jump to number 10, which is currently uh, number 10. Just waiting here. So orders. Press. Forwards. Perfect.
When you finish assembling that ship model, make sure to share it on Discord. I love how they decided to not put any texture on this building. It's, it's just like a plain box from like a 3D modeling software. It's 3D printed. So it's already assembled and, and fully done. Then just grab a picture and, and you know. Put them on Discord. It actually reminds me that I need to put some sort of like a modeling section on, on the Discord because we, we got a lot of people who are into modeling stuff and, and stuff and stuff like that, but. I don't have a specific channel for you guys yet. Uh, so yes, I, I will try to add this uh, if, if I can remember about things. And you know, I, I got a memory of a goldfish, so it's, it might sometimes be a bit delayed. But keep in mind, I will try eventually. Right. Uh, uh, I need this thing to stop somewhere around here. Maybe, maybe here. Okay. Ten can now. Okay, I put all volumes silent to depot. Okay. Uh, could you pick up that uh, silver interchange car and, and get it to with you? Hi. Thanks a lot. Oh, and, and you left another car for interchange at at Stenzel. Oh my days. I just worry. Fiona will unload the load and they take out the cell. Not for it. Oh my days. We need to dig it out at some point. Uh, there's still plenty of time though. Right. Uh, so this thing is at Bryson. Okay. Perfect. And uh, number two is at Dillsboro. We can actually send it forward. But I can't place a PZ at Wilmot just yet.
There we go. Another battle is ready to begin. Let's do that while I wait for number three to go past Wilmot. Beautiful crowd, everyone. Beautiful crowd. Let's put Killing Field in front of our units. So whichever unit will head to kill Retro Slimes will get caught in that spell. Let's start the battle. Um, we are literally just steaming through the enemy. Cat, your army is doing great. Look at this. That was a beautiful massacre. Let's open the captain chest and let's see who's the lucky winner. Beautiful. I don't know what to do with the tokens. If, if anyone can tell me what to do with even tokens, I, I would be really glad to. Uh, really glad to hear that. Okay, let's begin another battle. This time I will put a vampire. There we go. Vampire will be a great unit for, for this one. Chat. Again, it's on you now. It's all on you. Make me proud. Back to Ray Roder. Okay. So our passenger train is on the way to Wilmot. Now we need to look at Whittier. Yes, I, I need to wait for number three to go past uh, signals at 56, is it? Yeah, okay, for now I will just close them. Because I need to make myself another coffee. And I know that very, very soon Twitch is going to serve you another ad. So, we're going to... Hit two birds with one stone. I'm gonna take a break now. And within next two to three minutes, you should start seeing ads anyway. So let's all take a quick break. Make ourselves another brew. Hot coffee, hot tea, hot chocolate, whatever you drink. And then let's meet again in about five to ten minutes. There we go. Yes, that's the plan, everyone. There we go.
All right, chat. I am back. The outbreak is over. And we are now ready. Roll. Where is number three? Oh, okay. It looks like Tankist already rolled number three into Witcher, which is perfect. Perfect. Uh, right, but uh, before I park it there, uh, I need to put it into manual. I said I need to put it into manual. There we go. Now I need to put some coal and water. There we go. like I'm gonna temporarily slow down tankist progress sorry about that mm. it won't take long go so that's water sorted Let's quickly grab some coal It is surely taking a while to refill coal in, in this thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I forgot that coal conveyor 
is loading very slowly from that car. I, I don't know why it takes so long to actually load conveyor from a car that is already spotted there. Okay, that is everything. Orders road forward 15. And ARC3 can now move away. Okay, tank is, uh, the trucks are yours. Okay. Sorry for that delay. Mm -hmm. Upper Well, that's that's what developers need to adjust. Uh, sometimes unloading times are way too long. So what they did in many places, you can actually load things much quicker than you unload them. Uh, that that used to be a problem for logs, uh, where you could load the logs within like an hour in the game or something uh, but unloading a log was a very tedious process that took many hours and, and you couldn't just supply uh, sawmill uh, enough okay uh, let's have a look at this Ooh, look at this chat this one is just where it needs to be. Perfect. Number 10 can carry on now. I need to extract this car. Okay. Number two will just fly through with here. Wonderful.
Okay, all the switches are lined up. Perfect. Okay, I see one stop for a PC. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And ARC 10 just stop for a QZ. Awesome. Okay, so you are now going forward.
There we go. Okay, so number 10. Now ready to be pushed back. Completely forgot about it. To be honest. <laughs> okay. Okay, it doesn't look like we have much to do right now. Yeah, tank is just parked number one at wit here. Because there's literally nothing to do. Almost nothing to do. Because yeah, we we actually loaded quite a lot onto those flat cars. These cars just need to be loaded. That will be ready in a few hours. What tier I'm working at. So, Sawmill is at tier 4. Uh, so, Parsons Tannery is at tier 3. I could increase it to tier 4. That's what I'm going to do. Silva Colon Number. That goes up to tier 4. Silver interchange. Okay, silver paperboard. That goes up to tier 4. We, we should be alright. Uh, Blue Ridge, Locust and Pin. That goes up to tier 4. Uh, Dillsboro Fuel is going to tier 4. There's going to be much more work around silver.
Onati Kun, thank you very much for follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Uh, Slay Mika, that stays at tier 3. Uh, Wilmot Station, that, that doesn't have any tiers. Connelly Creek is being serviced regularly. Thanks to hard work of uh, Tankist. Holyfield's heating oil is currently working at tier 4. Stenzel is at tier 5. And Sawmill is at tier 4. Hila Farm is working at tier 4. Appalachian Hardwoods is at tier 2. Can't go any higher. Uh, Bryson Lumber is at tier 2. And Standard Oil is at tier 2. So pretty much I, I just cranked everything to, to the max uh, as far as this playthrough allows me to. And we are waiting for just few cars to, to be filled with cargo so they can be spotted at Whittier. Uh, this will be a very short day uh, in, in the game from, from what I can see. Because I won't have that much work around these areas. Okay, number 10 can now go yard 5. Oh, there's, there's this car that I also need to dig out. I will do that in just a second. this car while I'm on the task of assembling the train I can also send this train is it Silva with your Wilmot okay nothing is for Bryson so ARC2 is ready to go there and the battle is ready chat everything at the same time but hey that's that's quite normal for for my streams everything is happening at the same time <laughs> let's hop in wow look at this chat we got beautiful crowd and now i don't know who to support so, I will just place a curse on, on these enemies, they, they look the strongest, although trolls might be a difficult opponent. And let's start the battle! like this uh, huge route happens to be a difficult opponent and trolls are flowing through our units look at that that was a that was a very serious attack from the enemy but we survived Chat. our beautiful army prevailed okay and as much as I would love to say that we will be able to finish the boss, I'm afraid we won't. Uh, because today I will have to get out a bit quicker than usually because of the snow. Uh, so obviously that will also impact
uh, my living time. But we can do one more battle. And that will be loyalty chest. So we will try to get some extra skins. Unfortunately, we won't be able to defeat the boss. Okay, let's start the last battle of the day. And today... I will be defending. There we go. And the rest is on you, chat. The last battle of today's stream and the last battle of this event, at least on, on my channel. So let's make it great. Let's make it the greatest battle that we've ever seen, chat. 30 minutes. That's all we need. 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's get back to Ray Roder. Okay, so this one uh, is there. Perfect. Now this goes forward. Still got few shunt maneuvers to complete today's tasks. Uh, Tankis can now rest, uh, although technically he can take care of a uh, passenger train, which will relieve some stress of me. Uh, Tankist, uh, while you don't really have much to do, if you want, you can take care of a uh, passenger train. Uh, where, where's him? Uh, it's heading between Ella to Bryson at the moment. So at Bryson you would have to refuel the locomotive, put it on the other end of the train and send it back. Okay, yard four five. Start this one. Oh, very soon we will have FAC uh, or FEC uh, twenty nine five six. That should be ready by the end of the day. No, that's that's never gonna be ready. And that price of freight house. Yeah.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Helps to be able to multitask, doesn't it? Uh, well, yes, uh, indeed. Uh, <laughs> multitasking and ability to do so is very important. <laughs> it it will take ages since I uh, well it will take ages before I will get back Shire though it is super expensive uh, yeah that thing costs 30 grand so forget about it I, I currently have six and a half and there's tons of other things to spend money on rather than Dark Shire But I will surely get one. It will just require a lot of hard work. Did yeah. you actually refuel the locomotive? Ah, uh, damn it, GPG is good. Yeah. Do that first, because uh, the one that, that you have doesn't really hold that much fuel. <laughs> Mm. 
попытку, сразу блин, прицеплю и заполню. Я думаю, first uh, couple of the wagons after I um, will be pushed back and uh, fill the locker. You don't have space to push three wagons. I mean, you you sure about that? <laughs> Well, yeah, there's not quite that much space to, to fill three wagons. I, I wouldn't risk it. Even at that, but yes. Yeah. Go with the locomotive alone. We got plenty of time. You're not on a schedule. Uh, you, before that, you check it. Uh, how much uh, space can take this wagons? How much space in wagons? Uh, you know, technically we could try and fit them to uh, to the house. Yeah, maybe they would fit. Uh, I don't know. You haven't even loaded the passengers yet. Thank you for the head parts. this to resupply ARC2 
also chat when ARC2 gets to Silva, which will happen tomorrow, I think we might be able to replace it. will be replacing ARC2 with uh, P18 Atlantic, is it? Uh, P18 Pacific, there we go. So it's slightly more powerful locomotive. It holds more coal. It holds a little bit more water. But most importantly, it will have a headlamp on the tender, which unfortunately this one doesn't have. Чё за бред? What the hell? What are noise going on? I don't know. Maybe it's because you have wagons attached. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Go forward a little bit. That's interesting. I will just say push back some uh, and try the couple wagons. Uh, yeah, you can do that. go so you can't have passenger wagons coupled on this one I think it's if I couple again it's a little bit uh, uh, stop works precisely h2o Also, chat, I would like to remind you that today, because UK has winter, there is a promo on a snowball. You can get it cheaper for channel points. So don't lose your chance to throw a snowball at me. Right, after you redeem it, on, on the stream itself there should be a viewer attack overlay where you can pick up your snowball and throw it at, at the stream. And so, not only you have to redeem it on, uh, on channel points, but also on the overlay itself, and then you can throw it. Your attack actually informs you about it. Yeah. That's good, that's good.
on. How, how do you throw it now? Oh, that's weird. Uh, you know what? I I put it as an overlay, and and now I'm confused myself because like when it was in the panel below the, the stream, it, it used to work better because then you had a tiny depiction of of the like screen and and you just had to uh, move the item onto it. But right now this this doesn't seem to work. Hang on. <laughs> Oh wow, so it's actually kind of broken. Hang on, hang on. I, I might actually be able to fix it for you. It's the ULES cameras are active. No, 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 That's not supposed to play. I hate when Twitch does that. Uh, right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now, it should be on the panel below the player. Uh, you might need to refresh uh, the stream. Uh, it is below the stream and all you do is to click on your item it should show up in your items is it? hang on I, I will redeem an item myself there we go and, and then you just click on on this like uh, miniature of, of the stream and it will throw the item so you just select the snowball and then you just click on on that little stream and and it will throw the item uh fluffy what you said in the discord <laughs> oh, there we go there we go i i just got hit in the face by two snowballs <laughs> well, at, at least now it works. At least we know it works. Okay, so uh, it, it doesn't work as an overlay because obviously... Uh, it, it, it's just broken. Although, hang on, as an overlay then technically you just click on the item and then click on the stream and it place it and it should throw it at, at my face or or wherever you want it you can throw it wherever you want okay anyway it it works better as a panel so i i just put it as a panel so yeah uh Today and probably tomorrow, I will be running a promo on the snowball. Uh, thanks, Tank. Is thanks that th that was brilliant. <laughs> the best uh, way to cool your heat. 
probably. I am going to work very, very yes, soon. I, I look to time, it's uh, too near. It's half past 12, so very soon I will be wrapping things up. Finally, number 10 is getting some coal. Ouch. What, what, what was that for? What was that for? <laughs> More like an avalanche than a snowball. I mean, if, if you throw so many, then yes. Headbots. Yes, Rubix, I'm aware of that, uh, but uh, Twitch is currently serving ads to whoever is watching them. Uh, unfortunately, it was a little bit unannounced again, so Twitch didn't let me know a minute ahead of beginning of the ads that the ads are going to play, and I just got notification that it is playing for, for some of you. Uh, so I'm just waiting for for this to end. In the meantime, I'm finishing refueling number 10. And then we will do this battle. So just bear with me for a minute. Okay, Tankis is currently loading passengers. Uh, Tankis, you don't have to wait for the train to be full. Uh, as okay. soon as you finish loading, whatever, yes, uh, just just go because 
you will fail that train anyway. Uh, and I will wrap up the stream as soon as you get to Ela. Welcome back, everyone. We have now made it to the point when we can begin the last battle of this event and the last battle of today's stream. So chat, let's head on to Stream Raiders with a slight delay, I know, I know, uh, but I, I just wanted to make sure that everyone is on it and you are not missing out because because of the ads uh, unfortunately that is something that twitch failed to let me know that they are serving you ads or they they are about to do it uh, so and uh, that was a bit broken but we are here chat last battle today and last battle of this event uh, because tomorrow there's gonna be something else i'm not sure what stream raiders are planning to do uh, but we'll take part in that don't worry i'm not stopping stream raiders because the event is over uh, that's gonna be new event and new adventure so let's begin beautiful our defenders are doing great and those two units that are in the offense are currently rushing towards enemy fantastic that is outstanding performance our defenders are holding really strong The blob has been unleashed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Chat, this is the final chest, okay? The last chest of this event. Let's see what's inside. I get five musketeers. One of you will get Mykos, will get 200 gold. The Nico Fabi, you get Gladiator Scroll. And Terminus 79, you get Berserker Scroll. Congratulations to everyone. This was an amazing adventure. I would love to carry on and kill the boss, but unfortunately, I don't have time. I really wish to continue because you guys are doing amazing and, and and your performance is just outstanding but I'm afraid I run out of time anyway even though the event will be over and tomorrow we will start another adventure I hope that you guys will keep it up okay that you will be showing up in large numbers and we will be able to go even further than this time. Okay? I, I need you all on that. I'm starting my stream at 9am. Every morning. 9am in the UK. So whatever time it is for you. Yeah? Set your clock. Get reminders. Yeah? And join Stream Raiders with me. That's 9am in the UK. Right. So, with that finished, let's jump back to Railroader for just a few last minutes. Uh, I am literally just waiting for Tankis to reach Ela. Because his train has departed. Four AM USA Eastern. There we go. See. Uh, so that's very early start. Whoever wakes up early for work, you might 
you might check out my stream don't forget to check out my channel points there's always something fun to to experiment with and finally if you have the game and you want to join in and help running this railroad you can do so just join my discord and check the server details there there we go that is the passenger train we just caught up with it Let's observe this train and its final journey of today's stream. Let's enjoy this scenery. Rubik's, no, 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 that, uh, uh, no, 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 that, that wasn't nice. Not, now I will have to wash my suit. It's, ah, uh, that, that was really bad one. That was really not nice. Why, why would this extension be called viewer attack it, it's not it's not called viewer law <laughs> uh, Sam Houston if you want to uh, release that fly uh, you have to go uh, to the extension under the player go to my items pick up fly and then click on appropriate fields on miniature of, of the stream that that will pop up in that extension ah thank you for the head pads. Yeah, the extension is a little bit counterintuitive, but... I know it works. Okay, and the train has arrived at Gila. Which also marks the end of today's stream chat oh there we go oh we, we have a fly well and, and, and that was a fly <laughs> I, I have to say it, it it is a very large fly though <laughs> Right, everyone.
Right, everyone. We're gonna need a bigger fly swatter. De definitely. Like, for, for flies like that, you're gonna need a huge fly, uh, huge fly swatter. Anyway, chat. We've made it. We made it till the end. Or a dog trapper. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, right, chat. We made it till the end. Uh, it was absolutely amazing stream. I'm really glad that so many of you tuned in. If you like this content, uh, drop me a follow. That that really helps. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server. There's always something fun for everyone to find. Uh, what else? If, if you are watching this on, on YouTube after it was published, then obviously don't forget to press that subscribe button. Uh, that, that also helps that tiny channel to eventually grow. And, and maybe I will finally get together and start making videos again. Uh, I, I don't know when I will find time, probably... I'll, I'll call the government to declare that there is now eight days in a week instead of seven. Uh, so so I got one day to, to record and, and edit videos. But uh, I'll, I'll figure something out for, for YouTube eventually. Uh, for now, it is basically a storage space for my past streams. Not all of them. Uh, some of them are not being published. But uh, definitely the railroader stuff is going to get there. So if you missed that on Twitch, which I strongly encourage you to visit me when I'm live, and then you can always watch that stuff on YouTube. Uh, right, and yeah, finally, if, if you have the game and if you want to join and help uh, running this railroad, the session is opened. Uh, all you have to do is to join my Discord server, check out the server details and when I'm live on Twitch, you can be sure that the server is also live. So join me on voice chat and we can run this railroad together. See you later. Bye bye.